No, you graduated from the UH. Yes, Tell us about that I experience. Burns School of Medicine. Um, it was actually a, a great time to be in medicine. It was um, a time when the country was looking at trying to get more women and minorities, particularly Native Hawaiians, into the field of medicine. So I, I have been very grateful for the opportunity that the university provided me um, in getting into this field. And now you're the director of the Department of now Health. Now I'm the director of the Department of Health, yes. And I learn something new every day. Liberals are against smoking. They are in favor of more government intrusion. Communists would take advantage of such people because communists want bigger government, more government intervention. Communists would love to see an economic crisis, for example, because they want an excuse to intrude further into the lives of people. Smoking gives them the opportunity to intrude. And you may notice that the California government uh, is uh, infiltrated on the lower levels by the Tom Hayden crowd. Tom Hayden, uh, if you don't remember, was the guy who married Hanoi Jane, Jane Fonda. Older people can remember Jane Fonda sitting on the anti-aircraft guns in Hanoi as though she was um, taking delight in shooting down American B-52s and F-16s or whatever they were. And she even appeared uh, at a prison camp. As the story goes, now I can't swear this is a true story, I can't remember where I got it, but it's probably based on some facts and it may give you an indication of the thinking of Jane Fonda, for example, who married Tom Hayden, who was a member of the SDS, same as Bill Ayers and a bunch of others. I can, I can, I'm at the point where I can rattle off a dozen names of these guys, even though I don't know a lot about them yet. Jane Fonda toured a prison camp in uh, North Vietnam, and I believe it was the camp where uh, John McCain was placed and the visit consisted of all the prisoners being lined up on a parade ground standing at attention while Hanoi Jane reviewed the troops and spoke to them one by one now these American pilots didn't know that Hanoi Jane was a traitor this had not become known yet. And some of them wrote their names in a message on a small piece of paper and folded it tight and held it in the palm of their hand. And as Jane Fonda uh, would come past them one by one and speaking to them and shaking their hands, they hoped to slip word out to their relatives and loved ones back home. Hanoi Jane uh, promptly turned over the pieces of paper to the Vietnamese guards. This is a glimpse into the mindset of uh, the liberals who are the pawns of communists. This is my thesis. This is what I'm putting forth. Believe it if you will. But uh, these are my suspicions and I'm looking for evidence and more evidence and I gradually find a little here and a little there. And that's why I'm looking at the smoking ban in Hawaii, because I know that Obama uh, was nurtured in this little nursery of communism known as the state of Hawaii.